So I was on Twitter minding my business. And I happened to come across this thread of Karen Jarrett being very, very, very in her feelings and decided to detail how they ended up getting separated, tried to make it work and it didn't work and they got a divorce ultimately. They just felt like it wasn't gonna work. And then she moved on to Jeff Jarrett somehow. Then she ends her her unnecessary and un and not needed rant with hashtagging, not directly tagging said people that she was accusing. But there were three women she accused. One was Kelly Kelly, one was Don Marie, and another one was a woman's name that I didn't recognize. But I should have it somewhere in this video where you can actually see it. More than likely, it's right there. Any hoosies. So I'm like, this is not even worth looking at. I'm like, what triggered this? So Max Caster cut a promo. Max Caster alluded to the fact that Karen Jarrett was a whore. So she didn't like that. She was like, no, your favorite wrestler's a whore. Okay. I just got the hell out of Dodge. Now, if you want to start bringing up some names, since we want to start putting my shit out there, let's put all the shit out there. Let's talk about the other bitches that he was messing with while he's supposed to be married to moi. So that got the girls all in the tizzy. It was a lot of panties being bunched up here, honey. They were not happy. And once Kelly Kelly got tired of being tagged, sis said, listen, Okay, listen, I don't know, you know, what your problem is or why you got such an issue with me, but baby, listen, she like, I keep getting linked in this tweet and I have DM'd Karen Jarrett to privately ask her and I'm waiting for a response, but I want to go ahead and publicly make a statement that only, that the only way I can be linked to Kurt Angle is we were coworkers, sorry. But thanks for the Monday morning entertainment, LOL. Now listen, Miss Barbie Blake was not playing with you hoes. She was like, bitch, I didn't want your man. Now I can't speak for nobody else. I can only speak for me. I didn't want your man. She was like, I don't know what the fuck going on in your little camp or what's happening with you, but keep my name out your shit, bitch, because I didn't have nothing to do with that. Still don't want nothing to do with that. Didn't want nothing to do with it. Then don't want it now. Never did. Never will. I'm happy. Okay? Mind your business. All right? Now, I don't know where Don Marie at, and I don't know where that other lady at. They ain't saying nothing. And Miss Karen Jerry have, has gone quite silent on Twitter since all of this has broke. Now, let me tell y'all something. This tea is herb. This is kombucha, okay? It is fermented, all right? It's got that nasty-ass white film on top that you know if you drink it, you're going to die. This is some OOT, but this is not uncommon. It is not uncommon for wives and husbands to get divorced and jump ship to someone else close within their vicinity. I've always said this and I've continued to say this. Dating is about proximity. What is close to you or what is accessible to you. And most of the time when you're in an environment where certain people will not understand your world, but other people who work in that environment will, you tend to gravitate towards people who are like-minded and who are in the same profession because it just makes life easier for you. And it's an easy reach. It's not hard to explain why you're on the road for over a year to a person who's on the road with you for over a year. That's not difficult to explain. So most wrestlers will marry other wrestlers. Most wrestlers will stick within their world because they will be be understood better that way so it's not uncommon that a woman would break up with one wrestler and then marry another what people are talking about is the crossover of the relationships now to Karen's credit we do not know the ins and outs of their relationship we only know what our eyes saw she popped up with Jeff Jarrett and that was it there was no explanation of that it just was what it was and since we've seen other women jump ship i.e lita um sable the list goes on one can only assume that that was the case for her as well but she cleared it up years later y'all let me know what y'all think about this story because to me it's just messy it is old kombucha fermented tea that did not have to even be brought up 
reheated and served, honey. We didn't even need this. But that old bitch decided she wanted to try to clear her name, but don't nobody care about you fucking Jeff Jarrett and Carter Angle. It happens. We're good. <laughs> Anyways, y'all can comment in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think. I asked the girl. I will see y'all tonight after NXT. Peace.